Welcome, collectors and heavy equipment enthusiasts. Thank you once again for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to check out an excellent model from WSI Models. This is the Volvo A60H Articulated Hauler or Articulated Dump Truck. The item number for this is 61-2000, and this truck is in 150th scale. Let's begin the review by taking a look at the box, as we always do. As you can see, there's a picture of the A60H, and at the time of its introduction, this was the largest articulated hauler in the world with a payload capacity of 55 tons. On the back, you have some more information, including some information about the real truck over here and the outline drawing. At the bottom of the box, you can see all of the relevant copyright information as well as another great promotional picture for the real A60H. Okay, let's begin the unboxing. Now this truck has been out for about, oh, I'd say about two or three years now. And uh, when it came out, I was extremely excited to get my hands on this model because just from the promotional pictures that I've seen of this, it looks like an absolutely amazing replica of this articulated dump truck. And if you guys are not familiar, Volvo actually can lay claim to the whole idea or concept of the articulated hauler, which they have been massaging and working on for more than 50 years. The first one was Gravel Charlie back in 1966. So with the top layer of foam rubber out, be careful what you lift on and you can lift the truck straight out of the styrofoam packaging. Now, I must admit, when I got this model, this beacon light right here, unfortunately, had become detached during shipping, but with the help of some super glue, it was relatively easy to mend a repair. With the model now free from the box, let's begin by taking a look at the decal application and detail all throughout this truck because it is quite impressive. First thing you'll notice are the sharp Volvo graphics and A60H all throughout. There is a warning label right here. There's also warning labels across the articulation or pivot joint right here, which might be a little bit difficult to see. You also will notice the rubber and flexible to scale uh, lines across the articulation joint, which look great. You also have Volvo here, A60H. Your grill is perforated through, and you can see the holes here. It's not just a decal, it's actually a casting that is perforated through. As is the front of the grill, which you can actually see some red different components in the Volvo logo front and center as well. Moving the machine around to this side, you have more warning labels. Again, the same A60H Volvo. A60H over here, you have a blue filler cap lid at the front right side. The die cast wheels themselves are actually die cast in metal and have a lot of casted in de detail and look extremely impressive. At the back of this truck, Here's a cool excuse to point out the working suspension feature, which works very well on here, and you can actually see the springs and shocks that have been implemented into the model. Small warning label here, a safety latch for when working on the dump box, and that once again gives us a good opportunity to look at the realistic tread pattern that is on this rubber wheeled machine. If we very carefully flip the truck upside down, the detail does not stop there. You can see that the axles have been molded with some detail as well. And the underside of the truck also has some very impressive detail as well. Okay, let's move now towards the functionality aspect of this review. You can see that the articulated truck has zero issue articulating to an extreme angle, either left or right, which works great. You also have some oscillation on both of the rear axles, so the truck can travel over some rough ground in the quarry. You also can achieve some pretty uh, extreme poses with this truck, which is kind of fun to do. The dump box or dump bed does raise to a very good angle. And it's still going, still going, there we go. As you can see, that is almost off the screen, and you will have no problem getting any simulated material to slide out the bed of your truck. Now, the functionality doesn't stop there. This is where this WSA model exceeds all expectations, in my opinion. Let's move around towards the front of the truck. Let's take a look underneath the hood and see what we have. So let's move this part open. And you can see the Volvo motor inside, as well as some other casted in detail with different components. 
but we're not done just yet. Let's put the front grill portion down and this little orange piece, this little access stairs can also be folded down as well. Finally, although the hood will stay propped open by itself, if you want to mimic a more realistic pose for some service, you can move this little hatch up to keep the hood in the up position with the safety latch. Conversely, you can bring it back down when you're done and it locks into position. Bring your hood back down, fold this over, and you are good to go, just like that. So overall, this is an extremely impressive model from WSI Collectibles. It is not a cheap model by any means, as this model nowadays goes for almost $200 thereabout. But taking into account all of the small detail aspects and the functionality that you may not expect or see on other articulated dump trucks, I do believe that it is worth the price. You can also see all the different highlighting detail throughout with Volvo's orange safety railing packaging. I mentioned the decal application with the warning labels. The opening hood and service latch is a really nice and surprising inclusion, and all other functionality that you would expect from an articulated dump truck works phenomenally well on this machine. To close out the video, let's pose it next to a machine that you might often see working alongside of it, and that's the Volvo EC950. Now, Volvo claims that the EC950 can load this articulated dump truck in about three to four passes. So, if we have him here, we have our Volvo excavator here. By the way, this excavator model will be reviewed in its separate review video coming very soon on this channel. And as you can see, the two WSI Volvo models look great when posed together. So that will conclude this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know down in the comments section below what you think of this articulated dump truck. Now, obviously, again, some closing thoughts. There are some less expensive articulated dump trucks in 150th scale on the market. In fact, there are some Volvo 150th scale articulated dump trucks that are less expensive on the market. But when you're comparing a WSI collectibles model to a MotorArt Volvo model, it's almost comparing apples to oranges. It's not really a fair comparison. So I would say if you have the finances and resources available to you, make sure you do pick up one of these A60Hs. Uh, it's an extremely impressive model, and the fact that it is currently the largest articulated hauler or articulated dump truck out there, it just kind of gives you even more incentive to get it, especially if you collect construction or mining equipment. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. Until next time, Take care and be safe. I will see you in the next review.